Hi everybody, it's JoJo, and I'm here to do, um, a set review. I'm going to do, um, <laughs> girl. <clears throat> Let's take a sip of water. Okay, I got it. Paris I have a couple of things to compare it to. <clears throat> um, so let's get started. Got glitter on my hands. Oof. Put some cream on. Okay, so let's talk about Paris Amour. So Paris Amour to me um, is a springtime uh, scent. Um, it came out, God, 2015, 2016. I really don't remember. It's around there, though. Now, maybe soon earlier than that. Maybe like 2012. <clears throat> Somewhere around there. And then it did expand in, an, in a Paris line. This was their signature scent in the Paris line, but then there was Sweet on Paris, Paris Nights, you know, they had all that, and then they had this one. Um, but this one was the signature one, which you still can, it's discontinued, but you can still find it online. I found it online, um, and I ordered it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I love the packaging with the Eiffel Tower. It really does reminisce, so I just give you the aroma of Paris, or romance in Paris. Um, so, our exclusive Paris and more fragrances inspired by a romantic stroll through the charming streets of Paris. You really do get that. This beautiful scent is a dreamy blend of French tulips, apple blossoms, and sparkling pink champagne touched with sandalwood and creamy musk. It smells really good. So, the notes are French tulips, apple blossoms, pink champagne, sandalwood, and musk. Okay, so... Oh, it's a very clean scent. It's a very clean scent. Um, you definitely get tulips. It's kind of like sweet pea, where it's like, it's floral, but like, it's like a, a very girly, sweet floral note. Like, the tulips are not like fresh cut tulips. Like, they're definitely um, more like sugarized and girly. It's really nice. Um, and then you definitely get the floral notes. Um, and I get a lot of the champagne note as well. So the champagne note is actually making the floral note very evanescent, bubbly. Um, kind of like you're in a, in a bathtub with a glass of champagne and like flower petals or tulips around the bubble bath. Like that's what it's kind of like. That's what I think about when I smell it. I, I think of like a morning or afternoon in Paris where you can see the Eiffel Tower outside the window, but you're sitting in the bubble bath with this aroma, with the flower petals around you, the tulip petals, whatever you want to call it, with a glass of champagne, pink champagne, and you're watching the Eiffel Tower and that's your view outside your bathroom window. It smells really nice. It's very, it's florally, it's fresh and clean. It's a fresh and clean floral. That's, that's what I kind of get from it. Um, it's a little hint of sweet. Um, it's not that sweet. I think if anything, the floral note is this. No, I would say the champagne's making the floral note sweet, but it's not, it's more of a clean floral with like a little sweet with the champagne. The pink champagne is making it a little sweet. So yeah. So, and then also I have to compare it to is of course champagne toast. Um, this again is very different. It's it's very close because I I really think the champagne the pink champagne note is strong in this, but it's like if this was like eighty percent champagne, this is like a million percent champagne. Like this is like the champagne note is like like the, the standout note in this. Whereas the standout note in this, I feel like is more the tulips, the floral note. This is more like the champagne. So the champagne is mixed with that fruity peach note, um, whereas this has no fruit in it. It's not fruity at all. Um, and the champagne is not as strong. Also, to compare it to, I have Paris, Rose Water, and Ivy. And, um, this is Kino's the Soft Rose Petals, Rain Kiss, Ivy, and Spring Musk. I remember I got this from my grandma for Mother's Day one year, and she loved it. Oh. This is literally rose, rose petals with like a little of the floral in it. It's like, 
It's literally like these two put together made Paris Noir. The floral and the champagne note. But I do have to say that the floral in this is more rose petals. Like the rose scent is with that floral, like a rose a rose petals are like a distinct floral. Like it's not just a floral, like rose petals are very it's a unique floral. You know what rose smells like. So, and this doesn't smell like roses. So I don't want to even could, like say it like that because it doesn't. Rose, this does not smell like roses. But if you want to compare a floral note and then a champagne note together, those are the two that would make this. But this is rose. And these are tulips. Um, so yeah. So that's that. That is my, uh, oh, you know what? I also have something else that I want to compare it to before I forget. Rosé Champagne. So this is Sparkling Rosé, Citrus Splash, and Apple Blossom. So this is actually interesting because this Apple Blossom in, in Paris Amour, Sparkling Rosé, Pink Champagne. So the only different note is the Citrus Splash. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I would say they're they're definitely similar. It's they're not the same though. I would say. I would say, the floral note in this is definitely tulips, like like flowers. The floral note in this is um a little bit more died down like it's not like the floralness is more strong and the floralness is not that strong so what's the floral like the apple blossom or the sparkling the sparkling rosé you definitely get more of the um the road the champagne note in this i get a little apple blossom but it's very different because as i said this even though they both have similar notes this is just way more floral and clean and fresh smelling to me. And then this is like not as fresh and clean and um, not as florally. So really nice though. They're similar. This is definitely the strongest scent though. And this is lighter. So, okay. Now that is it. That's my review for Paris Amour. I love it. I think it's very appropriate for the February Valentine's Day season, but also spring. I love this scent. I really did. I love the packaging with the Eiffel Tower and the tulips and the flowers. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I want to really get the um, cream too for that. Okay, I'm going to do another scent review right now and I'll be right back. I right, love you guys.